Here is the secret behind the so-called Google brain rot. We have more technology and more access to information than ever before, so why are we getting dumber? Several scientific studies demonstrated that we memorize things less, far less, or not at all. If we think we can access this information later with the help of Google. While the search engine giant has a perfect memory and never seems to forget anything, no matter how trivial or embarrassing, we humans suffer from brain rot and we need the electronic crutch to lean on, just as if we all had Alzheimer's. Now there's a reason Twitter messages are so short. Communication gets dumbed down to just a few lines of text with faulty grammar and there are even ways to have the machine read these short messages to you. People don't usually read the news anymore on the web, they just look at the headlines when people share stories on Facebook. They share in essence the headline, because those who get the link via Facebook don't read it either. They don't read the complete text. Research has shown that those who actually open a news story and look at the text drop out after the first paragraph. Scores of writers had to change the way they write. Gone are the days when you draw the reader in and give him a complete story with a certain dynamic. Nowadays you have to dump it down for the first paragraph because barely any reader makes it to the bottom of the article. There's also a reason Google keeps YouTube running and free to use. Despite it costing billions of dollars each year and competitors scratching their heads as to how this is possible. Please go and read the book called The New Digital Age from Google boss Eric Schmidt. It is short and it's easy to read. Sentences are kept fairly simple which suggests that even the intellectuals uh, from the target audience don't read that much either. Schmidt explains how we will communicate with less words and grammar in the future. We won't even need to be able to describe properly what we are searching for. Google automatically guesses what we want and chooses the search terms. It's basically George Orwell's 1984 meets Alzheimer's disease. Remember the novel where, you know, each year's new uh, dictionary uh, gets shorter and shorter and shorter. Everybody on this earth will need search engines, according to Schmidt. And we will need social media to get anything done. Even a poor fisherman somewhere will use it to get his products to the customers. While we get dumber and poorer, the technology gets smarter and helps us to get by with less. A whole new argument for a planned economy is being made. So, techno-communism is gonna be a big thing because, uh, so the argument goes, we have all this information. People are feeding this information um, into the machine, into the beast, and so we can guess what people want, we can predict what they're gonna want next year, and so we can get by with less. Isn't that green? Isn't that nice and Marxist? A whole new argument for a planned economy. Now Google even started a government innovation lab, meaning an artificial intelligence will run our life with the help of all the data we feed into the machines. Google's so-called DeepMind program has created an artificial intelligence that is being taught to read and to understand. At some point, you can feed every book into this artificial intelligence that has ever been written, plus all the recorded data from the search engine about the behavior of hundreds of millions of people. Have you read a book today? Or have you read a book this year?